Hello, my name is Gary Chapman. Uh, I'm a technical writer for IBM. Um, I'm here with two colleagues today to talk to you about the SaaS offering of IBM API management with Matt Roberts, same with John McNamara. Uh, before we start, just ask Matt and John to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Matt Roberts. I'm the, the architect for the IBM API management service that we'll be talking about this afternoon. Hello, I'm John McNamara, senior inventor and information architect for IBM SG. Okay, thank you. Um, so before we look specifically at uh, the SaaS offering, um, perhaps Matt, you can just summarise um, what IBM API management is actually all about. Yeah, that's a really interesting question, Gary. And for, for those of you that, that aren't familiar with, with uh, what API management is, um, so effectively an API management offering provides you a, a platform that lets you manage and control the, the, the set of APIs that you want to expose to application developers that, that, you're, that you're working with. Uh, and those application developers might be internal to your organization, so co colleagues that you have coffee with on a regular basis. Uh, they might be in existing partner organizations, maybe that's a, a business to bi business style relationship or some third party that you have an existing kind of co contractual relationship with. Or alternatively, th th those application developers might be kind of really wild on the internet, the kind of stereotypical college guy on his couch who's um, mashing up some, some cool application using data services that he's, he's, he's kind of found, found from the internet. And, and kind of what the API management platform will do, will do for you is make it very easy to use, um, very kind of easy to simple to deploy those APIs. So make it very easy to define what the structure is, to understand how you would access it and control those APIs with security and rate limiting all kind of non-functional requirements, and really without having to do any coding on your own. And it's one of the areas that, that the API management space is kind of evolving over traditional either SOA or ESB style technologies. Is, is taking away this idea of coding and making it much more a declarative and a kind of user action driven uh, type of interaction. Uh, and then once you've kind of defined your APIs, you've got them kind of running, you've maybe tested them out, um, uh, any API management offering will, will give you the chance to publish that information to the kind of developer community that you're targeted at, um, typically via some form of developer portal, uh, and developers can then kind of do self-service sign up and generate themselves security keys and, and access and request use of, of particular APIs depending on, on the scenario they're going after. Uh, and then the kind of last uh, last aspect, the kind of fourth pillar of, uh, as it were, is once your APIs are up and running, <coughs> um, then an API management solution will give you the ability to track the usage of those APIs. So as the provider of the APIs you get a kind of wide range of uh, analytics capabilities that let you see how many requests are being made, how frequently they're being made, which applications are making them. So you can really kind of drill down and understand who's driving your business through this API platform, what their interests are, which platforms they're running on, uh, and kind of use that as the, the, the kind of round trip to feed back into the, the business success of, of the, the, uh, the APIs that you're releasing. Cool. Now, I think you touched on, on SaaS briefly there. Can you tell me what, what is a SaaS offering and what are the advantages of it? Yep. So in SaaS, standing for software as a service, is a kind of a, a, a keyword or a short form of, of public cloud or multi-tenant type solutions. And the, the API management offering from IBM comes in in two different form factors. Um, there's a, a kind of on-premise version, which will be familiar to many of our uh, traditional customers deploying appliances into your existing kind of company uh, networks. Uh, but what we're doing with the, with the SaaS offering is to have a, a fully hosted managed service. So it, it kind of means that you as a customer don't, don't have to worry about the, the, the infrastructure components. You don't have to deploy the appliances yourself, you don't have to kind of worry about the day-to-day -day running of the system because that's all, all carried out by IBM on, on your behalf. And it has all exactly the same um, capabilities as the on-premise solution, but in this kind of alternative, easy-to-consume form factor. Um, kind of one of the nice things about that, that model is, is it, it makes it very easy to get up and running. Um, so we have a, a free 30-day trial for, for the SaaS offering, mm -hmm. uh, and we had a customer we were talking with earlier in the week who, who literally went from not having any form of account to running his, his, his Hello World API in a matter of about five minutes or so. So it, it's really a, a, a great way of getting on board and, and getting the chance to kick the tires or do, do a pilot of some form. Yeah. The kind of nice thing is obviously it means you can focus really on the business of your API and what, what the task is you're, you're trying to achieve and not worry about the, the messy piece about the infrastructure and the availability that that's all handled kind of magically on, on, on behalf of uh, you by IBM. And it means that f for us as the, the team managing and maintaining the system, uh, we we transparently handle the scaling of that system, so we will kind of increase or decrease the capacity uh, on your behalf uh, in response to kind of peaks and troughs in the API traffic. Uh, when updates come out to introduce new features, then then it's our team, our operations team, whose job it is to kind of deploy that into the infrastructure on your behalf. You don't have to worry about downtime. We kind of handle all that piece uh, on, on on your behalf, and and you really focus on that that kind of perspective there. 
Uh, and then lastly, from a, from a purchasing perspective, um, as you, you probably hope, the, the model for paying for the, the SaaS offering or the way you consume the SaaS offering is, is, is slightly different to on-premise. Um, in, in the SaaS case, we have a, a very much a, a pay-per-use type of model. So as, as a, an API provider in, in our ecosystem, um, you get to uh, choose the, the volume of API calls you expect to make on a monthly basis, the, the number of API developers you expect to sign up, uh, and you, you pay on a, effectively a per-use basis for, for those types of measures. And if that changes, I can adjust. Like yes. Can I... Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So the, there's a, a, a very flexible kind of uh, system for, for the, the payment mechanism. You can choose whether you want to commit over a year or just a month. Um, so maybe maybe you have a peak around the Christmas time period. You can uh, adjust appropriately rather than having to pay for your your kind of max peak rate for, for the entire twelve month duration. Okay. So if I think it sounds interesting, my customer out there, um, how do I get signed up? How do you use that? Uh, so the good news is it's exceptionally easy. Um, <clears throat> so there is a, a free kind of, as I say, 30-day self-service trial. Um, so if you go to apim.ibmcloud.com, I think we'll, we'll put the link in, in the kind of uh, notes for the for the podcast, uh, and that will kind of get you into to our, our base homepage. Uh, click on the Get Started button, and it'll send you off to a, a free sign-up form. Uh, log in with, with your, your ID there, and, and very quickly you'll be up and running. As I say, the, the customer we spoke with earlier in the week literally went from, from zero to hero in, in, in his five minutes. Uh, it's very straightforward. And that's fully featured trial, is it? All features of the product available to me? Absolutely, yep, yep. So we, we don't restrict or uh, nobble the trial in any way. Um, it, it is a, a time-limited trial rather than a feature-limited trial. Uh, so at the end of the 30 days, obviously, we, we hope that you'll be uh, keen to purchase the product. Um, and uh, as we kind of talked about, when you do that, you get to uh, choose how much you want to purchase based on your expected workload. Uh, so it's very cost-effective, uh, as you'd hope. Um, Starting at ninety nine dollars a month for the, for a million API calls a month. So mm. even once you get past the end of your thirty days, it's it's very easy to, to kind of keep going and kind of carry on your investigation with a, a very kind of small initial financial cost. That was fantastic. So um, for those who are new to the world of SaaS, what would you say is the main difference between SaaS and on premise? So I, th- I think the important thing is is the the management of the infrastructure. So the the primary goal of a, a hosted solution is it takes away that that requirement from you as the, the, the owner, the customer as it were in our case, uh, to, to manage that infrastructure yourself. Um, we, we work very hard as a, a team to make sure that the functionality provided by the product is, is the same in both cases. So uh, when you're using the on-premise product, you're using the same API manager user interface as you are when you're using the SaaS offering and, and the capabilities that, that are provided there is, is very much the same. Um, from a kind of technical perspective, Obviously, the hosted form factor drives a slightly different way of, of doing certain things. So, uh, we talked briefly about onboarding. There's a self-service sign-up online um, to, for, for the SaaS offering because you don't have to install the infrastructure yourself. It very, makes it very much easier to, to get going. Um, the, any, anyone that's familiar with our on-premise offering, uh, maybe uh, maybe an existing data power customer, for example, um, might have seen some of the on-premise capabilities. There are aspects of that which which don't flow through directly into the SaaS offering. Typically, the pieces around managing the infrastructure. So, uh, the on-premise offering has a, a cloud management console which lets you uh, add and remove appliances, understand the health of those appliances, check on workload, all, all those types of things. In the SaaS case, that's obviously managed by us as IBM, our, our operations team. Uh, so, customers don't see that aspect of things, but they do get the the API provider and the developer portal kind of aspects. So would you say that the, um, the SaaS offering and the on-premise offering are aimed at different sets of customers or, or could a, an existing on-premise customer in fact want to use the SaaS offering as well? Uh, so I, I think there are a variety of use cases and certainly we, we do see um, a, one set of customers focusing on one or the other but equally there are cases where people are, are looking at a, an overlap of some form. Uh, it's it's very common, given the, the ease and simplicity of signing up and, and getting going, it's very common to use the SaaS offering for uh, some form of pilot or experimental phase. Um, it, a lot of customers, particularly on, on-premise ones, if you want to go through deploying a new offering, there's there's process to go through internally, obviously, whereas if you're doing it in, in our SaaS offering, um, then that that you don't have to worry about firewall rule configuration or uh, applying uh, deploying appliances into the DMZ or any of those kind of te- technical aspects. So it gives you a really great way of getting started, um, and then once you get to the end of your kind of evaluation phase after your 30 days or so, um, you as the customer can choose whether you want to kind of stay and, and deploy your production workload into the SaaS offering, 
or whether you at that point want to move to the on-premise product. Um, so there, there are certainly cases where customers have tried the SaaS offering for 30 days, they've kind of validated it meets their requirements, it does what they need it to, but they, they're much more comfortable in running the, the ongoing product as an on-premise solution. Mm -hmm. So they take that, they kind of export the configuration of the APIs into the on-premise offering uh, and kind of drive it that way. Um, I mean, there are, as I say, that there are kind of dual or uh, combined use cases, as it were. Uh, the types of conversations we're having with customers are starting to look at maybe, in some cases, customers want to host the developer portal, so the kind of pub publicity engine, if you like. Um, they maybe want to host that in the SaaS environment because it's there, it kind of runs, it's always available, uh, but maybe they, they still feel more comfortable about having the, uh, the API call path as an on-premise solution. Um, so so we're, we're looking with, with various customers about the types of scenarios that, that match that, that hybrid uh, case, as it were. Um, there's other thoughts around, a bit like the, the kind of peak workload scenario we talked about earlier. Maybe you have a kind of base capability in your on-premise solution because you're more comfortable with that, but at peak times, rather than by double or triple the number of appliances to run, run this kind of workload, maybe you kind of try and burst some of it into the SaaS environment in some cases. And there are obviously aspects to think about with that. It's, it's fronting some existing service, some existing back-end service that still has to be accessible, but there are some customers that uh, maybe take a perhaps a clone of their database uh, for during peak times and they, they run that through the SaaS offering instead and it gives them a much more flexible deployment model. Mm. Okay, so if, if I've signed up either trial or, or the full paid version and I've got a question or some help, um, how easy is that going to be for me? Very easy, as always. Um, you expect nothing else, <laughs> would you? Um, so once you're logged into the, the API Manager user interface, there's a, a fantastic help menu in, in the top right-hand corner. Uh, it, it gives you a link off to the various support locations. Uh, so for our trial customers, we have a, a, a monitored web forum. So you can post questions there, and, and the entire of the team are kind of champing at the bit to, to hear, your, hear your questions and help answer them. Um, once you get through through to the kind of paid solution, uh, we have a kind of more IBM style um, web web based forum for reporting kind of paid problems, as it were, mm -hmm. uh, which you know, obviously has a different quality of service to it. That's that's one of the reasons we we like you to kind of get get through into the paid offering is that we can uh, uh, pay pay much closer attention to the work that you're doing. Um, we, we have a a very large number of uh, customers already signed up for trials, um, so that the forum serves that kind of model well. Lets you do some kind of self service as well. You can see what what questions other people are hosting. Uh, but then kind of moving into the, the more closely managed um, support model for, for, the, for the paid offering. I'm assuming you can get to reference documentation as well from there. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So there's a whole, whole set of links in there that point off to things like our knowledge centre, which has really great kind of step-by-step task-based uh, in, in, in instructions as to how to achieve certain things. Uh, there are links to various tutorials that walk you through the kind of end-to-end -end flow of defining an API and deploying it and testing it and pushing it out to the developer portal and, and those types of things that you can kind of follow step by step with the SaaS offering and kind of different browser window and, and just kind of pu push through there. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, so, okay, so next up, Sen, um, what we'll do is I will put the URLs into the notes we've mentioned, which gives you uh, some of the trial, reference information, and um, if you want to ping us on at IBM integration, any questions you've got, please do. Thanks. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, John. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.